Let's balance the equation for ZnSO4 plus Li2CO3. We'll also look at the type of reaction. Let's start with the type of reaction here. We have zinc and lithium. They're switching places. Because of that, we have a double displacement reaction. That's the type of reaction. And if we look at the states here, Sulfates are usually soluble, so these are aqueous, and carbonates in general are insoluble unless they're with a group one element, like lithium or sodium. But zinc carbonate, that's insoluble, so this is going to be a precipitate. So it's a double displacement reaction, and this is the precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. So let's balance the equation. We're going to use a trick to make this easier. We have one zinc, and then SO4, the sulfate, ion. This is a polyatomic ion. We have it on both sides. We're going to count it as just one thing. We have one sulfate, two lithium, and the carbonate. We have it here and here. So since it's on both sides, I'm going to say we have one carbonate ion. Products, we have one zinc, we have one sulfate, two lithium, and then just one carbonate. And what you can see right away here is that this equation, it's already balanced. These numbers are the same as these. If you wanted to report the coefficients, you could say one, 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 but we don't write them by convention. Note again, the type of reaction, it's a double displacement reaction and the precipitate, that's ZnCO3. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for ZnSO4 plus Li2CO3. Thanks for watching.